Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Cat's Cottage. I got my coffee percolating, and I'm going to get a cup of coffee, and I'm going to show y'all um, the rest of what I bought from yesterday. I couldn't show it all to you last night or uh, the time I frame I was in, and so I'm going to show you uh, what else I got uh, from the Salvation Army. Okay, while that coffee's perking, I'm going to come in here and put on my glasses. I can see better without them, but I'm just going to put them on. Uh, I'm going to tilt it down a little bit so you can see what I got on the table here. I guess y'all can see that. Oh. Anyway, let me tell about it. Uh, I bought these for $2. Um, I didn't buy these for what they are. They're, you know, they're racks for hot pans and cookies and trays. And I already had some of those. So what I bought them for was my garden. Uh, I'm going to get me some onion sets. And I've got to plant the onion sets through these holes. And put them down into my uh, planting pot. And you're saying, what the heck? Well, the reason being is because of the critters. Every time I have dirt, and y'all have seen me fuss at them, they dig out squirrels, chickmunks, rats, birds, all of them. But when this is laying down on the dirt, and the onions are going to come up through, they can't, do, they can't dig at it. Now, um, that's what I got this for. Good price, too. I'll lay that over there. It goes outside. That's my alarm. And then I, ha I got me three square baskets for anything, you know, that I need to store stuff away and goods or just goods in the closet. And I got me three, got me a minute, another miniature lights, which was $2. That's cheaper than what I had been buying from the store. So that was a good buy. And then let me, I hope y'all can see my jars. I'm a, I just, I'm a jar freak now. But I got this jar, and this makes my third one like this. Good, good price, $3. And uh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to find a spot for it. I'll find a spot. Remember, it'll melt in. And here's uh, one of these. Start not to get it. I know there's a set to this somewhere. Uh, and I guess I'll, if I see it, I'll pick it up. But I'm wanting the big jars. And somebody had painted uh, a label there to write on. I think that was about $3. And this is a much older jar. I can tell the seal is kind of old. And somebody's already put flour on it. And I'm sure there's more of these in there. Uh, I love it when they get the jars out. And then here's another one of these. Love, love, love it. Now this one has this little spout on it. It's heavy metal. Uh, so if you say, keep it closed, it's not. there's no danger to that leaking. And I'm going to add more, you know. Uh, the other one I got is over here, way over there. It has cereal in it. Okay. Now that's that's what I got in here. Now I'm going to walk it in the kitchen. Walk in the kitchen here. Show you what I got. I got a few kitchen things. First off, I picked through the silverware just real quickly. And um, I seem to be real attracted to these now. These are for ice, you know, kind of fancy. I I'd like to find a little tiny um, sugar one is what I'm really looking for. Um, I don't think this one's made for a little sh uh, sugar squares. Um, and then I got some really nice uh, sterling... Um, Spoons, soup spoons, and the larger spoons. And uh, 
don't need them. I'm attracted to them. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, goody. Popcorn. More popcorn, please. Like this, I've started eating popcorn since my dentist told me to get Orville Redenbacher's Red Box. I have been eating popcorn. And also with this, I caused this damage. Doggone it, I dropped it in the store. It went to flying across the floor. And I, so I bought it. I damaged it, I bought it. And then these, I like these. I really do. You can put refrigerator. This is anchor hocking. You can put uh, stuff for the refrigerator or you can cook in it. Whatever you want to do. But I really like these. I don't have a lot of them. I think I got one more. Uh, the little ones is the one I like now. Uh, a little bit of leftover, you know. You just take it, put it in the refrigerator right in there and it stays nice and safe. And then I got another uh, copper, found a copper red pot. Uh, this time, found it with the lid. And uh, I really like this. And then I got a, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got a soup bowl or cereal bowl. And it's uh, stoneware, really heavy. Uh, I don't seem to have a label at all, but I don't care about that. This is for eating soup and cereals, or whatever you need it for, really. Uh, I bought two last week, and they were red. I bought two of those, so this is a nice blue one. And then I got this. I got a good deal on these. They were marked individually, and went up there. She said, are these a set or what? And I said, N if they're not a set, they should be sold as a set, because I think they were like, five a piece which was silly but for a thrift store anyway um but uh and you can tell somebody has, <coughs> somebody has put these in the dishwasher <coughs> y'all excuse me i don't know what i got going on but yeah y'all see i'm collecting red up for long this whole kitchen's going to be red <coughs> let me get come over here to my stove I'll show you the lastly thing I got, but I've got to get a swallow of something. <coughs> oh yeah, that's better. Now, if y'all recall, I bought these, got these, in blue and white. Oh, that antique, uh, whatever that style is that blue and white dishes but uh stupid me turned on the plate thought i was turning it on the back and i was turning it on the front so i, I burnt this one and oh, okay couldn't save it whatever i did couldn't save it so i threw it away then i turn around and i turn this back plate on right back here and i burn it so i'm just Going really good here. So anyway, I saw these yesterday, and I thought, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to get another set, and I'm sure going to try not to burn them. Sure not going to try. Because I have improved my skills a little bit, front and back. So maybe stupid me, or, or maybe, I need, <laughs> maybe I need to paint it right here on the doggone stove. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I got going on there. And okay, I, I did throw a little something in the crock pot. This is not, you know, I'll bring the camera over and you, I'll bring it up. Yeah, there we go. Now, that's pinto beans. I tell you, I got a strip of bacon in there to uh, flavor it. And also, I poured in my homemade vegetable broth that I made from boiling, you know, the skins of the onions and the peelings and the carrot shavings, all of that I boiled the other day, saved it in the refrigerator till the time I need it, so I need it this morning. And I put it in here to give these beans a flavoring. So, but 
anyway. That's that's what I bought yesterday for my kitchen and and um, got myself some treasures there. But uh, uh, it was a lot of fun, you know. There was a load of people in there, and we just, it was so many people, we had to push our baskets to the side and, and go in certain areas to shop. But, of course, when you push your basket to the side, there's people there that pick through your basket and put it in their basket. But that's just, you can't do nothing about that. And, uh, oh, I got one more thing. I'm going to pull it out and show it to you. Right here. Got me a red can opener. How about that? And I actually have a tiny little space it can fit into. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, that was my last. I, there's a lot of red stuff there, but uh, I don't need it. I, and I got a lot of, I don't have any place to store all those, uh, so much of those electric things. I got a cabinet in that room. That's all that's in it is electrical, uh, you know. Air fryers, deep fryers, bread machines. It's just full of that. So I don't need any of that. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess I'll let y'all go. And uh, I'm going to drink the rest of this coffee. And I, I, I've been upset, really, for a little bit. Uh, and it, it started with the... Uh, Maybe the disaster was it, uh, but it seems like a, maybe it is Israel. But a, a lot of things have come together that are upsetting. And this morning, I woke up and I thought, you know, and just something said in my head, you know what? They had they had a nice life, and it, they got destroyed. And but the ones that have survived, everything's going to be better. They're going to make it better. All the things that didn't work right and didn't fit right, they're going to make it better. I, I don't know what good that does for anybody. I mean, uh, maybe for me, worrying. Uh, it's not better that people died. It's never better. Um, but the ones that are left, all the bridges and all that, They'll be rebuilt and they'll be better. That's that's just what I'm trying to tell myself to, uh, you know, not be so upset. And why am I upset? Because those are my American friends. Those are my southern friends and southern roots down there. And uh, it, it makes me upset. And just the same thing. With here, you know, in Tennessee, I've lived here a while, and I would be upset if uh, people were dying here, and you know they're finding people under mud and stuff. That would upset me. But um, anyway, um, I all I can do is pray about things and uh, hope that uh, I can get some of this worry, and some of this, uh, be able to sleep better. I'm not sleeping very well, so um, that's that's just what I hope for, what I pray for. I pray for those folks. But anyway, I want to wish all of y'all a wonderful day, and I hope y'all find some treasures. And don't forget to get you some extra stuff at the grocery or the DUI store, whatever you need, you know. Maybe we'll, we'll make it through all this. So, bye-bye. Um, Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.